In Python, there are several types of function arguments that you can use when defining and calling functions. These arguments allow you to pass values into a function and control how the function operates. In this tutorial, we shall explore the following types of function arguments. Positional arguments, keyword arguments, default arguments, variable length positional arguments, which is otherwise called arbitrary arguments, variable length keyword arguments, otherwise known as arbitrary keyword arguments, and lastly, keyword only arguments. Positional arguments are the most common type of arguments. They are passed to a function in the order in which they are defined in the function signature. The function must receive the same number of positional arguments as it expects. For example, a subtract function is defined to accept two numeric arguments such that the second argument is subtracted from the first one. When we call this function and pass in the first argument as 5 and the second argument as 3, the function returns 2, which is the difference between 5 and 3. However, when we assume that the positions of the function of the arguments do not matter and swap their positions such that the first argument becomes 3 and the second 5. We get the negative result minus 2, which is the difference between 3 and 5. Hence, strict implementation is key to getting expected results when calling functions that accept positional arguments. In keyword arguments, you specify the argument name along with the value when calling the function. This allows you to pass arguments in any order and makes the code more readable. For example, the greet function is defined to accept two arguments, name and message. We can invoke this function by assigning values to the argument keywords without any regard to the order in which the arguments were originally defined. Hence, the function call result equals greet bracket opens message equals how are you comma name equals John will produce the output hello John how are you you can provide default values for some or all of the functions arguments if a value is not provided when calling the function it will use the default value for example the grid function has been modified to include a default message hello. When we call this function, passing in the value for only the first positional argument as Jane, we get the output hello Jane. However, when we pass in values for the arguments, we override the default message. The following function call will produce the output hey brian you can use the asterisk operator before an argument name to allow a function to accept a variable number of positional arguments these arguments are passed as a tuple in the order argument one argument two argument three and so on. For example, we can define a sum numbers function 
that we accept any length of numeric arguments, add them together, and return the total. Notice that the variable length positional argument, args, is a tuple, that is, an iterable. Thus, we can loop through it to access and sum its values. Therefore, the function call result equals some numbers with arguments 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 returns 15, which is the total value of the arguments. You can use the double asterisk operator before an argument name to allow a function to accept a variable number of keyword arguments. These arguments are passed as a dictionary in the form key1 colon value1 comma key2 colon value2 and so on. This means that we can manipulate the entire arguments collectively as a dictionary. For example, the print quarks function is defined to accept arbitrary keyword arguments identified as quarks. The function loops through these keyword arguments as a dictionary and prints the key value pairs. To call this function, we pass in keyword arguments of our desired length as follows. Print quarks name equals Alice, age equals 30, city equals New York. The output becomes name colon Alice, age colon 30, city colon New York. In Python 3, you can specify keyword only arguments by placing an asterisk in the function signature. This means that the arguments following the asterisk must be passed as keyword arguments. For example, the kw only arg function specifies name as a keyword only argument. When calling the function, it implies that name must be assigned a value and passed into the function. Hence, the function call prints keyword only argument bracket opens name equals Kate bracket closes. We display the output hello Kate. I hope this tutorial has been resourceful and that you have learned a lot from it. Kindly support our course of reaching out to learners across the globe. Like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be among the first to know when new contents are published. If you have a specific topic you would want us to cover in our subsequent tutorials, drop us a comment. We shall do our best to document a comprehensive tutorial on the topic. For now, thank you for watching and keep watching Digital Wave Academy on YouTube.